Alright y'all, so I'm trying something very different here. I don't like really sitting down that much, you know? It's not too much movement, activity, and that ain't me. I'm very hyper. Love Sick, Don Tolliver. We've been waiting on this. And before I watch this, I want y'all to know I watched those seven episodes he put out right before this so I could have it fresh in my mind. I'm hoping it ties into the album. Similar to like what Tyler did with Call Me If You Get Lost. Uh, I don't really think y'all care about my review of those seven episodes, right? Here we go. <clears throat> Track number one, Love Sickness. Let's get it. Alright, he's starting this off right, bro. Hey, for real. This is how you start an album. All right, that first track was dope. That was a great way for him to start this album. Let's us know what we're about to come into. He just summarized, I think, like what we're about to get into. Flows, his style, his sound. What a great mastery for a beginning of it. Man, this is a great first track. I, I, ready to get into the next one. All right, track two, Let Her Go featuring James Blake. Let's get right into it. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie to y'all, that's just too much auto-tune for me. I don't need that like <laughs> too high pitched, y'all. For some of y'all you might like that and I get it. I need it to sound more human, you know? After his first verse, just saying like he's chilling, he's kicking it, and like, you know, just kind of like some, uh, not, he's not tripping. He's not tripping, so hopefully this evolves more. He's letting you know he let her go. She didn't break up with him. Uh-uh, he let her go. Get it, James? All right, that was a cool second track. Sounded good, a little slow car ride type song, you know, late at night type of thing. It was special, it has a special place, the vibe. This this atmosphere that he's setting up though is incredible. It really goes with those clips that he put before the album. All right, track number three is Leave the Club featuring Lil Durk and Glorilla. I already did a review on that song. I'll throw it on one of those info cards on top. So I'm gonna skip it for now. All right, track number four, we got For Me. Featuring Kali Uchi. Alright, he's giving me uh this is a this is a cool little intro. This could either go really good or really bad. So far it's retro and like this is giving me those 90s feels. To all the single ladies out there. No. <laughs> The song was cool. This is gonna be like the Sim Santhem, or I mean, Feel Good Lover too, you know? I can see a girl sending this to a dude, and I can also see a dude sending this to a girl, so it fits both ways. This is this is smart in an advertising kind of way. I mean, that's my take, right? It's a good little bridge, but this is gonna be one of those songs we only listen to when we listen to the album, you know? Maybe it just don't fit my style. Maybe it fits yours. 
We are on track number five, Go Down, featuring Tisa Korean. Tisa Korean, is that? All right, Tisa Korean. Never heard of you. Possible fan. Sticking to the retro style. Yo, Don, talk that sh bro. For real. Oh my. He said I wasn't your favorite, but I'm new and your best. God. Cardi sounds or what do y'all think? Is this is this Cardi influence or Thug influence? But like the Thug influence Cardi? Pick it up. Oh. I thought it was gonna speed up, y'all. I thought it was gonna uh, I thought the first half of that song was freaking epic. Yo, I'm going back to that one. Go down. She phenomenal. Great first half. Second half, second half got that slow down vibe, and you know, see why it wasn't its own song. It works, it works, it works. I like that. I like, I just feel like it lowered, it lowered the the first half a little bit, you know. But either way, I loved it, and I'm gonna listen to that second half. I'm not gonna skip it. I ain't gonna lie. The transition was smooth. It was too smooth to skip. It was too smooth. All right, we on track six. Time heals all. Here we go. Here's the thing, I'll be following along like with the lyrics right here through Genius. The only thing I would criticize, still a little hard to understand what he's saying without their lyrics up, right? If you look it up, you do the extra work to look into the words and everything, then it's like you could bop and, and, and sing along or, or whatever it is. It's hard to get past the how great it sounds because it's so sonically, it's like a performance, man. But but then it, it's too challenging to pick up what he's actually saying. And the way I put it down, I'm gonna drive you crazy. You feeling like a winner? It's cause I let you, baby. That is toxic king level right there. You're into, you like the whole toxic thing? Yo, that's it, that, that's fuck. <laughs> Sonically, this is incredible. And like all these, this, this, this album, you know what's amazing? I used to take like two hour drive, one part of Southern Cali to another part of Southern Cali, right? And it would take me about two hours to get there and I'd have to do that drive like every week. To be honest with y'all, this, if I had this one in my back pocket, this is a really good ride to album for real. We're only at the first half and like, I don't got too much to really say about it so far. All right, we're on track seven, Leather Coat. Got a pop song. It's gonna be for special time, special someone, you know, like, bro, bro's uh, apologizing, he's going through it right here. 
the same one. This is one I probably skip unless I'm really in my feels. Mm. Get it, Don. Oh, this is your lane, Don. Hey, Don. Yo. Hey, you mastered this part right here. Hey, Don. Your your little outro to the song was pretty deep, bro. He really saying something here. 24 hours pleading to the streets, give me my time or give me my peace. You'll never see the peace, you've never seen the Jeep, you've never seen the... And then you fill it in, bro. Man's over here trying to run the streets. He's over here, you know, trying to do something that he loves, but like, also loves his woman. It's like a crazy conflict. Like, does he want the power and the money? Or does he want his love? Because it seems like he can't have both. That's what's going on here. For those of y'all really listening, you're getting a treat out of this. All right, we're on track eight, Honeymoon. Let's see where this goes. Like booty ting? <laughs> okay, let's go. Won't talk up. Glad when I walk. Won't walk up. I've been under the door. Like, at least off first rip, he's trying to combine a story. It's hard to explain. Like, this isn't it? It's kind of like he's giving a mindset in his story here. The way I'm interpreting it to give you, like, maybe how the mindset is, but then the actual. Then another sound is like the action. Similar like how Kendrick be changing his sounds based off of a feeling, emotion, or or a perception. I think that's what Don is trying to achieve here. I mean, I could be way off because I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit confused right now. I ain't gonna lie. Don Tolliver is being a Don, like. It seems like he's really just handling his business, you know? Get out that white ghost, you better be standing at your light post, like. Uh, alright, but the song, the song overall, Honeymoon, that's a song that I'm skipping in the future. It has a purpose to the album, and it moves it forward, so I do appreciate the song. But as a single alone, it's not one of those that you just are gonna run back to, at least in my opinion. Alright, y'all. I am hyped for this one right now. Private Landing, the title alone. But then, featuring Justin Bieber and Future, oh my. The expectations for this one? All right, this is one of those Don Tolliver sounds, bro, that it's just too Mickey Mouse for me. But you know what's crazy is this can grow on me. If the rest of this track bangs, that's gonna grow on me. Yeah, Don. This is your lane, Don. Yo, make me a member. I want to pat it. Come on now. What? Like, <laughs> bro, that's hard, bro. With the just handing out paddocks because they're members. Like, that's crazy. Bro, Future is fitting on this too good, dude. This is Future song. Oh my. <laughs> Bro, when, when was the last time you heard Future go this hard? Bro said copping a brand new castle in the Middle East. I could do this shit one take, but my style ain't free. Yo, like, it could mean, too, that he doesn't freestyle, like, he takes his time to do it, but either way, like, he, oh my gosh, bro. There's so much that that, that can mean. Future, yo. Hey, you killed that one, bro. Hey, and you were in there for just the right amount of time. You dropped some heat, made a few little references, and then you got out. Mm, phenomenal, bro. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Okay, Bieber. I swear to God, you better say something more than that. Oh, cool. Lean in, Bieber. Yes. Yes. Bieber's voice is unmatched, bro. It's unmatched. Like, it's coming up. Like, I was like in middle school and he had his baby, baby, you know? And like, we all used to just hate on him. <laughs> like, bro, we're like, bro, that guy's gay. We don't want to this. Like, that guy, that. And we, we just hated on him. Now the man is like, nah, bro, this guy, hey, this guy kills. Oh my good. Dude. Dude. He could take either lane. He's got an actual voice or he could auto-tune it up and it's f incredible. Bro, Bieber's voice, man. What a gift. Why couldn't I have a gift like that? Like, if I could sing like that, bro, because when I sing, it don't sound good, you know? Like, shh. Oh, Bieber. It was above expectations, bro. Future, you did your thing. Bieber, you did your thing. I'm so happy that you didn't release this as a single before because I think it would have been, it would have hyped up your album too much, bro. Don, this is, we better get a music video and then this better be a single from the album because that this, this song right here is a masterpiece. This song right here, like we're only in February and I'm already naming it top three of the year, bro. Like it's, it's a contender, it's a contender. And now I'm fucking with the Mickey Mouse sound. See what you did? Top three contender. All right, we're on track number 10, slow motion featuring WizKid. I've loved what I've gotten from this album so far. WizKid, we know WizKid can come through too. This is slow motion. <laughs> Bro, they put us on a high with private landing. So I think they need to bring us back down with this slow motion for real. <laughs> It's like I said, I just feel like it sucks that this is the follow-up to Private Land. The song isn't bad, and it, it's it's staying relevant to the album. But like, there's not even really that much of a story that makes this different than the rest of the songs. You get what I'm saying? If I say I love you, and then in the next song I say I care about you, you better go really deep into why you care about me then. Not just now I care about, you know, like it's too close and relevant. Yeah, they're two different words, but this is just a song that's too close in relevance with some of the other songs, and it doesn't really hit the same. So I just think like, you should have left this off. And I'm not done, so let's see how it finishes out. The outro, the outro gave some justice to the song. Um, the hook is, I mean, superb looking, really catchy. Like I said, the song just isn't bad, but it's too relevant like for the, some of the other tracks on the album. Uh, either way, slow motion I think is one that if I'm listening to the album as a whole, I'm gonna skip through. But still a cool song, vibes. Track 11, Do It Right. We're on the 11th song. I'm not tired of this album. I'm just ready for more music. So you know Don is doing this right. You can do it, baby. Do it tonight. You can take me to your crib. You can write it on. It's the type of shit you expose me to. To the world from side by side and mama say it's cool. Hey, nobody got you like I got you. We move high and high. You see what really matters. You can write it on. You can do it, baby. Do it tonight. Yeah, I think this is just like the last song, but but this one, the production's a lot better on this one. Like, I fucking, I love the production on this one. Like, again, not deep, too relevant to everything else, where it's like, this could have been left off. You know, and it kind, it kind of hurts the album as a whole, in my opinion, because imagine you have 10 solid, different 
tracks with the same objective and meaning as opposed to and like I feel like three or four could have been left off and the same meaning still is reached I just feel like there's a little extra here but I mean I can see why bro this like or maybe go deluxe and then throw these on as the deluxe because they still sound great they just don't add I think I feel like they don't really supplement Yo, this kind of sounds like um like one of the songs from Eternal A Take by Lil Uzi. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don, never mind, I take back. I, I get what he's doing here with this song. Mm. Yo, he's pimping. Hey, he's being Don, bro. He's Don Tolliver. That's what he's letting this girl know. Damn. That was under my nose at first, Don. You almost had me. You almost lost. Oh. But I see. I, I listened. I listened. You know So from what I'm getting from it is like it's Don Tolliver going through this wave of emotions and like right here he's kind of like falling for some stripper and like he's also trying to hype her up because he's trying to get her in bed but then at the same time he's like I don't know why like I keep falling for you it's like yo like I know you bad like not just a baddie but like I know you bad like you toxic you this you that but I still keep going in like all right track 12 featuring Charlie Wilson here we go Smooth. Dope, this is A. I like your sound right here. I'm totally messing with it. I vibe with it. It's one of those things though, again though, like I said, if you put in the extra work, look into the works, that's what you have to do with this. Cause like, it says he said, your love in my hand, keep it for us. But all I heard was, no. I would never know what he's saying, but it sounds so damn good that I don't even care. Like, <laughs> I like it, Don. Oh my god. Yo, Don. The explosion of the sound in this. Don, and then Travis is probably working on it too with him. Like whoever's producing on this dude, like they need a race, like for real. Like this is incredible. Sonically, like bro, this is an a, a incredible electronic orchestra going on here. Don is like an accent filling in over this sound with his words and it all fits so damn well. Like this is what I mean. If, he, if they would have put this after, what was that called? In replace of slow motion, and you leave out slow motion, I, I think perfect fit. Look, I'm not the designer, I ain't the rich and famous one, right? But still, like, that's just my opinion. Like, but fuck, this is, this is incredible. You're beautiful. Ah. What would I do if I had you in my, you're beautiful. Ah. You in my arms. Charlie Wilson. Bro, I feel like just <laughs> We got four more tracks to go I have no knowledge of how this will end But this would have been a perfect outro song too with all that Charlie Wilson get out of here, you know Yo that <laughs> Hey, this song, this song is, is great too. Hey, this one's on repeat, bro. Like this, this was incredible. Hey, great job, Charlie Wilson. You killed it, bro. We are on track 13, Company Part 3. I never heard of Company Part 1 or Part 2, or maybe I did, I just don't remember, but. I like the chords. Dude, D 
Don Tolliver right now, bro, is crushing it with this album. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy about this. I didn't I didn't feel the same connection I had like with his last two albums. You know, he didn't reach his potential or the expectations. But this one, this one is, man. This is this is a great album. So Don, thank you, bro. Thanks for putting in the hard work. This is this is incredible. Baby, I'll be here tomorrow. Bro said, if you don't want better, throw it back. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Track number 14, Bus Stop featuring Brent Fias. Hey, if you know, Brent Fias goes off. See, this is different. Okay. Alright, Don's sounding like Travis Scott now. <laughs> oh, Don, yes. Yes, I'm playing this one on repeat, bro. Do you still love me? Not at all. Oh, this one. This one, Don. Yup. Yup. <laughs> You knew. <laughs> Let's get Brent Fires on now. Let's go. Oh. Hey, whoever's doing the production behind this, bro. Whoever did this beat, A1. A1, and then you just throw in that reverse drum real quick, like, dude. Let's get it, Brent. <laughs> oh. Brent Fias is killing it, bro, and he just entered the chat. Hey, I mean, I mean, we all knew he was gonna show up, right? This dude, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just amazed. I'm amazed at how good this album is. We're on track 14 and I'm having excitement like we're still on track like three. Oh bro, that's a smooth line if I never heard. Dude, show me your friend. She ain't gotta be an enemy. Oh my God. Hey, Brent, Brent is teaching this game right now, bro, for real. Incredible feature. Brent Fias. Yo. What? I feel like Private Landing is gonna be the biggest hit, but I feel like Bus Stop is my favorite song right now. Y'all, we're at track 15, Cinderella, featuring Toro y Moy. Recording for an hour and 24 minutes. And I have not regretted really a single minute of it. A few seconds, a few seconds, but not a minute. <laughs> she left her heels at my house. She thinks she's Cinderella. When, when, when Don thought of this, you know, he was like, oh, <laughs> bro, I'm not going to lie. I feel like, bro, like, honestly, this is like a future bar. This is something I'm expecting to hear from future. Oh. Oh, 
Cause you think she's Cinderella Oh. Hey, Don Don is saying this is the girl, man. This is it. This is this is her. She bring my hair around my back and roll my cigarette up. Hey, she don't know about that pain, so I can never feel her. I let that code in the Yo, that is so creative. Like, and then he added the sound of like the, uh, the ice in the cup while he's sipping. Like, damn, bro. This is great, dude. We're heading into the last song. Last song for Don Tolliver's album, Love Sick. Last song right here, track 16, Encouragement. Let's just get into it and finish this off here. Who the hell encouraged them? I guess you're hurting them. He got some mini cars, or he went and worried him. Bro said the only time you cry is on your pillow and your pillow, like. <laughs> Bro found his love. And he's lovesick. Oh, he got some mini cars, or he went and worried him. Step back and let it pop him on my curtain. Letters on a pillow and on a pillow. That's crazy. This is the, gonna be the outro right here, bro. It's about to end. But what a way to start. I have a McLaren truck where the engine is. Damn. Y'all don't even. I'm gonna just keep it there. Let's go. Yeah. Callie. Wow, bro. Don. Hey, Don. Hey. Good shit, bro. Good stuff on this album, man. Probably never gonna see this anyway, but hey. Good shit, bro. Yo, the hard sweat, or the hard work and sweat and tears, it showed, man. Like this, this was an incredible album. I think anyone with the right mind can tell you put your time into this one. You put your all into this one. This is fucking great. All of y'all that were like all on Lil Yachty, you know, sounding like a dick rider and everything, like, mm -mm, nope, nope. This is this one. We're in February. I'm already putting this as like one of the, this is number one album for me so far of this year.